In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with we do pray for Christ's light to be renewed in us, that we may be transfigured, that we may be changed by the gifts that we receive in this Eucharist. Let us prepare ourselves for this celebration by calling to mind our sins as we ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are the sower of earth's abundance. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you have paid the cost of our salvation. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bid us listen, eat, and be filled at your table. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Let us pray. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship. Grant, we pray, to your servants that listening to the voice of your beloved Son, 
we may merit to become co-heirs with him who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up and the Ancient One took his throne. His cloth clothing was of white bright snow, and hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was present before him, the one like a son of man reached, received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and language served him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. King, let the earth rejoice. Let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Justice and judgment are the foundation of his throne. The Lord is melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his justice, and all peoples see his glory. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. Because you, O Lord, are the Most High over all the earth, exalted far above all gods. The Lord is King, the Most High, over all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we do not follow clearly devised myths when we make known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. But we have been eyewitnesses of his majesty. For he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it, as a lamp shining in a dark place, until da day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice that said, this is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. So today is August 6th, which in the church calendar is the Feast of the Transfiguration of the Lord. Therefore, as a major feast, it takes precedence over the ordinary celebration of the 18th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And that's why we focus on these readings and this celebration today. In the gospel for this feast, Jesus leads three of his disciples, the familiar three, Peter, James, and John, up a high mountain, which church tradition has come to hold as Mount Tabor. Throughout the scriptures, the high mountain is often a place where one encounters God. Just think of Moses, for example, going up on the mountain to receive the Ten Commandments. He encounters God there. And that's exactly what happens for these disciples on Mount Tabor in the Gospel reading. The text tells us Jesus is transfigured before their very eyes. The term in Greek is metamorphosis which literally means a change in the form. Jesus' form is changed before them. He is revealed as the Christ, the anointed one of God. So in the experience, the disciples come to see the deeper reality of who Jesus is. They've been walking with Jesus, following him for a period of time now, and Jesus has progressively been revealing himself to them, but now they get the whole picture. Jesus appears with 
Moses and Elijah. Moses representing the law and all the writings relative to that. And Elijah representing the prophets and all the writings of those prophets. Both of which point essentially to the Messiah, the one to come. And in the midst of all of this, they received this great gift, Peter, James, and John, this gift of this revelation. And in the midst of the experience, it says they are afraid, seemingly overwhelmed by the experience. But they know it's a good place. It's a good place to be. And so impetuous Peter blurts out, it is good that we are here. If you want, I will build three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He seems to be saying, let's stay in this place of encounter with God. Let's linger here longer. So it a good place. It's a place of, a, you could say, a spiritual high. And they want to that to continue. They want that experience to be part of their lives. But God's voice interrupts Peter's plans. This is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. In other words, listen to the voice that calls you to something more in life. Stay faithful to wherever that voice leads you. Even as you come down from the mountain, back down into the ordinariness of everyday life, even as you are part of a world that can be dark and sinful, and unattentive to God's word. Keep listening. Keep trusting in Jesus who seeks to lead you. And that is the call for all of us. Here in this liturgy, in the Mass, we're always being invited to encounter Christ. He is transfigured before us in the gift of Eucharist as the gifts of bread and wine are transfigured into the very presence of Jesus, the body and blood of Jesus. And we see more deeply who he is. And we seek to listen deep in our hearts to his call. So like the Mount the experience on Mount Tabor, this is a good place to be, a place to encounter Christ, to be awakened, to have a spiritual high. But then let us not forget that at the end of the Mass, we're always sent out. You'll hear me proclaim at the end of Mass, go forth, the Mass is ended. We come away from this place of encounter back into the ordinariness of our day-to-day -day lives. Like Peter, James, and John, we are to come down from this experience, this encounter with Christ, and we are to bring that encounter with us. To remember what we have seen here, what we've heard here, what we've received here, and to proclaim that gift to everyone that we meet. That is our work as disciples of Christ. That is our work as Catholic Christians. Let us be faithful to this mission and this ministry.
I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Nothing in this world can separate us from the love of Christ. Confidently, we bring our prayers before the God of mercy. That the Church does all its power to make the Eucharist available to everyone, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That political divisions be bridged and that our President and Congress work together to strengthen our economy for the common good we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That communities show mercy in action to those in need, especially the hungry and the homeless. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or in poor health, receive the care and compassion that they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather to celebrate this Eucharist Feast enough on a place at the table for all who are hungry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the personal intentions we hold in our hearts. And for the, inten the intention of this liturgy, Clayton Schuett, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, creator of the universe, giver of all that is good, let us feel your presence in our need and be your presence to others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please join in our offertory song, number 406, Open My Eyes, number 406. We invite the children to come forward with their offerings at this time. Help. 
Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor cleanse us from the stains of sin. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity. That the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples and that he might show how in the body of the whole church is to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim.
Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Walker, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, whose radiant splendor you willed to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Please join our closing song, number 544, Sing to the Mountains, number 544, verses 1 and 3. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voices, lift your hearts. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. I will give thanks to you my plea. You have saved my soul from death. You are my strength and my song. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. Raise your voice. This is the day the Lord has made. Let all the earth rejoice. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and rejoice. Death and all is Sing of the glory of God. Sing to the mountains. Sing